Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our immunology playlist. In the last video, we started talking about type 1 hypersensitivity reactions, which is the fastest. That's why we call it intermediate type hypersensitivity reaction. But today, we will turn our attention to type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, which is Psi 2 toxic toxic to the cell oh by the way this is king arthur you will be introduced to him in the next video when we talk about type 3 and the arthas reaction hypersensitivity type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 1 immediate but type 4 is delayed okay about type 2 psi 2 toxic look at this type 2 is psi 2 toxic and type 3 you have free antibodies what do you mean by free i mean the antibodies are floating in the plasma they are floating in your blood they are not bound to cells they are not side to like type 1 also you can describe type 3 by three words serum immune complexes hypersensitivity which one is the fastest type 1 which one is the slowest type 4 can you describe type 1 in few words sure immediate anaphylactic IgE, mast cells, they rupture, pew, they degranulate, pew, releasing histamine. And histamine can give you the symptoms of an anaphylactic shock. How about type 2? Psi 2 toxic. What do you mean? I mean, I have antibodies, okay? These antibodies are bound to antigens, okay? And this happens on the surface of the cell. The cell is the Psi 2. That's why type 2 is Psi 2 toxic. Okay, how about type 3? Three is free. You have antigens and antibody complexes. Same as two? Yeah, but with one difference. The big difference is this happens in the blood. And after this, since they are hanging around in the blood, the antigen antibody complex can end up being deposited in the blood, causing vasculitis, in your joints, causing arthritis, in your kidney, causing nephritis, etc, etc, etc. In type 1, type 2, type 3, we talked about antibodies like IgE, like the antibody that is cytotoxic, like the antibody that's freely floating in the blood. But type 4 has nothing to do with antibodies. Type 4 has nothing to do with the humoral immune system. Type 4 is about T lymphocytes, cell-mediated immunity. No antibodies? Heck no. The T lymphocytes are super sophisticated. They communicate with each other via cytokines, which include the interleukins, which is the internet of the leukocytes. This is also the story of making a granuloma, and this takes time. Here is a quick overview of the four types of hypersensitivity. Type 1, immediate, okay, within minutes, all right? Hemoral immunity, which means I'll see antibodies, yes such as IgE, immediate, hemoral, preformed antibodies. Remember, IgE is ew. What do you mean by ew? Allergy, anaphylaxis, atopy, asthma, eosinophil, ew, bee sting, ew. How about type 2? Type 2 is cytotoxic, okay? We have an antigen-antibody complex. We're on the surface of the cell, and these antibodies could inhibit the target most of the time, or they could stimulate the target in one case only. That's why some crazy textbooks define this specific type as type 5 hypersensitivity. But this is a very bizarre classification that only lasted for 5 minutes, and then they went back to classifying hypersensitivity as four types. Can they inhibit the target? Sure, they can cause inflammation and cell dysfunction. Inflammation is seen in anti-glomerular basement membrane antibody disease, also known as good pasture syndrome, rheumatic fever, hyperacute transplant rejection. This is how your body rejects organs. Or they can cause cell dysfunction such as myasthenia gravis and pemphigus vulgaris. My muscles are in trouble, my skin is toast. They stimulate the target organ only in one case, which is the case of grave disease. I have antibodies against the receptor. Okay, what kind of receptor? This is the receptor waiting for the TSH. So it's called the TSH receptor. Okay, but these antibodies will come and stimulate the target. Have you ever heard of antibodies that stimulate the target? No, antibodies are weapons of destruction. Now this is an exception. These are antibodies that stimulate the target. Leading to what? Well, it's as if TSH 
is binding to its receptor. Oh, so a similar effect? Yeah. What does TSH do? It tells the thyroid gland to secrete tons of thyroid hormone. So Graves' disease, in a sense, is a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. How about type 3? Type 3 is also antigen-antibody complex in a different location, floating freely in the plasma. Okay. This is the cause of serum sickness, which is a diffuse and acute reaction. Or the Arthas reaction. It's not diffuse. It's very localized in one spot on your skin. And it's not that acute. Arthas is subacute. Serum sickness is generalized. Arthas is localized. Serum sickness is acute. Arthas is subacute and subcutaneous. Love it. Subacute, subcutaneous. Type 3 is also the tragic story of the nasty immune-mediated vasculitis when these antigen antibody get deposited into the wall of the vessel. This is vasculitis. They can also get stuck into your kidney. This is called immune complex mediated nephritis or into your joints immune complex arthritis. This is what happens in lupus. This is what happens in rheumatoid arthritis and gazillion other diseases. How about type 4? Type 4 is the most delayed. 3 days, or about 72 hours, or slightly less, slightly more. This is cell-mediated. I'm not gonna send antibodies to destroy. No, I, myself, I'm gonna go and kill that bacteria face-to-face. -face. I'm gonna have a strong word with this tuberculosis face-to-face, cell-to-cell, cell-mediated or cellular immunity. If I can kill the stupid invader, I will destroy it. How will you destroy it? Well, we are T lymphocytes. We have T cytotoxic toxic cells. We kill. Okay. But if I can't kill it, well, at least I can surround it in a granuloma. This granuloma can have caseous necrosis, such as the caseating granuloma of tuberculosis, histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, coccidioidomycosis. Or it could be non-caseating, basically. Any other granuloma is going to be non-caseating. A famous example is sarcoidosis. How to make a granuloma is a story that we'll talk about soon, but basically CD4 T lymphocytes will secrete interferon gamma, which will stimulate the macrophages to make the granuloma. If you remember the previous video, we had type 1 hypersensitivity, first exposure and second exposure. And then the second exposure is divided into the early phase of the second exposure, where you have preformed vasoactive substances and the late phase of the second exposure where you have de novo newly synthesized on demand immune mediator examples of type 1 include asthma atopy anaphylaxis bee stings etc next we have type 2 hypersensitivity reaction what's the keyword cytotoxic what do you mean antigen antibody complex on the surface of the cell, okay? An antigen and an antibody, they make a complex. Where is the complex? On the surface of your cell membrane. And then what's gonna happen? There is a story with a complement and there is another story with no complement. If there is a complement, I have two sub stories for you. IgM or IgG. These are the only two antibodies that can fix the complement. What do you mean by fix the complement? Fix it in place and activate it to end up with the MAC which will attack. Watch my last video, please. This antigen antibody complex triggered the classical complement pathway, which ends up with membrane attack complex. The MAC will attack, causes all kinds of destruction and lysis and breakdown etc hashtag cy2 toxic or i can stimulate macrophages to phagocytose quick reminder the complement is called complement because it complements the function of the antibodies the complement also produces proteins necessary for inflammation and opsonization. Oh, it actually makes sense. They are coordinated. The second story where you have no complement. We have two sub-stories here as well. ADCC and antibodies against cell surface receptor. What the flip is ADCC? Antibody dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity. Beautiful. I can have IgE or IgG. IgE can recruit eosinophils, as was the case with type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. This is the story of eo, allergy, asthma, bee sting, anaphylaxis, parasites, etc. E, eo, 
eosinophils, or the IgG activating and recruiting neutrophils and monocytes. Whether we're talking here or here, the end result is the release of inflammatory mediators causing cell lysis, hashtag Psi, too toxic. Or it could be antibodies against cell surface receptors. What do you mean? I mean a receptor on your own cell. Okay, and the end result could be stimulation of the target organ, as in the case of Graves disease, hyperthyroidism, or it could be inhibition of the target organ, as in the case of myasthenia gravis, which we have discussed in my muscle physiology series. It is the norm for antibodies to inhibit the target, but when you stimulate the target, this is unusual. That's why in the past, it was known by some doofuses as type 5 hypersensitivity reaction. But no more, because the pathogenesis is the exact same as type 2. Now let's review the clinical examples. Type 2 hypersensitivity, the complement mediated includes rheumatic fever, anti-glomerular basement membrane antibody, also known as good pasture syndrome, and hyperacute transplant rejection, which happens very quickly. The surgeon is inserting the new kidney into your body. While completing the job, the kidney is dying on the spot, live. What's that? Hyperacute rejection. Tell me about the non-complement mediated. Well, if you're talking about ADCC, this is the story of autoimmune hemolytic anemia, immune thrombocytopenia, and hemolytic disease of the newborn. If you're talking about antibodies against the cell surface receptor, if you're inhibiting the target, most of them are like this, example myasthenia. If you're stimulating the target, it's a singular example called Graves disease. If you like this video, you will adore my renal physiology course available at medicosisperfectionaries.com. Comes with 10 videos, 10 cases with notes, of course. I also have an endocrine pharmacology course, learn everything you need to know about insulin, the different types of insulin, how to calculate the dose of insulin, and much more. And for a limited time, get a 60% discount towards everything on my website just by using promo code New Year Learning at checkout. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button, you can support me here or here. Go to my website, download my courses, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.